DIY. Today we're going to learn how to make our very own t-shirt bags. This is an old t-shirt I had that just wasn't quite fitting right. Wizard of Oz themed of course. Did the wizard ever get back to you about that brain? And then I went ahead and I added some really fun graphics with some sharpies. Alright, let's get started. Plies you're going to need is t-shirt, of course, and scissors. Really those are the only things you actually need. Optionally, you can decorate with some Sharpies and then you'll want some cardboard to put in between the pieces of the shirt so that way it doesn't stain the shirt. The first thing that you are going to do is cut the sleeves off. When you cut the sleeves, you can either do one big cut like I did, or you can do a smaller cut. I'm going to go back and clean that up. I would also recommend, these are my fabric scissors, which really just means I keep them in my sewing box and tell anyone in the house that touches them that, that I will kill them if they use them on paper. shirt inside out and you're going to want to cut the neck out this out you can put a bowl on here but honestly I think you can just eyeball it and it'll work just as well you want to make sure that you are doing an oval shape want to figure out how big your bag is going to be. You can have it be as big or as small as you want. You can test it by putting things in the bag like this, like your favorite books, or you can just eyeball it. So I think I can fit plenty of books in here if I cut my bag to about there. We're going to grab black Sharpie. And you can measure this exactly if you want. For today, we're just going to eyeball how far to get it. Now how many of you guys remember that amazing craze with the tie blankets? I know I do. We are putting those skills to the test. That was not wasted time. So I like to go about a thumb apart and about the scissors deep because then that is a really easy measuring tool for me. to just find your buddies and make two knots and then move on. This is going to be a little more complicated. Now, there are two different ways that we can complete this. You can not have it inside out and you can have it so that all these ties are visible all the time or you can do what we're going to do, which is keep all the ties inside. So, you're going to take your buddies and do just a single knot for right now. So you can see, just a single knot, and then we're gonna go all the way down, single knot, all of our little friends. You're gonna notice how it's starting to bunch right here. 
With the tie blankets, people avoided that by cutting out a square. We want them to bunch like this because it's gonna create a nice curve on our bag. So this is good, this is what you want. take pairs so these are our first two ties tie here and we have a tie right here sometimes they get a little twisted so you kind of have to be like wait 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 which ones are which so what we're going to do is we're going to tie these two together boop they're friends now and now we're going to tie these two together because Boop, they're friends too. And all the way down the line. And again, this bunching is exactly what we want. Okay, so I try to scooch my ties this way once I'm done with them, just to try to keep some sort of order while I'm going so I don't lose too much track of which ones I have done and which ones I have not. on the inside if you want to go back and trim all of these you can but it is in no way necessary so now pull it out and boom a lovely t-shirt bag and now we could totally stop there so we're going to do some decorating so you're going to want a piece of cardboard because otherwise when you draw in here it's going to bleed through to the other side We're gonna get a nice big bucket full of markers. So let's start with nice Wizard of Oz. We're gonna do all Wizard of Oz stuff on here. Grab some books 
and you can be on your way.